So if I'm having a dream, right, and I'm sleeping, and I'm in a REM sleep, and I'm, and I'm in a good place, right, and I wake up screaming, Franklin's, <laughs> it's because I just had this thing of, okay, they all disappeared. We can't find them anymore. Well, if you look at certified 64 numbers, you'd think that happened today. We are very patient with the market. I know you are as well. Many of you have been with us for years on this topic. The challenge, though, is even though it's a short series of 35 coins and it's an affordable one, I got to find this one. I got to find that one. And patience on finding the coin. And when it shows up, where is it? Well, we always make sure it has a crazy value. And tonight we have three of them at a crazy price. 60, 61, 62. These are Denver minted coins. Now, these are the poster children for arguments on population versus mintage figures. Outright poster child, because again, mintage figures don't always indicate value, rarity, etc. If you look at all three of these, this is what you're going to hear 18 million, 20 million, 35 million. Denver was very busy in the early 1960s. On the other hand, in 1980, silver goes to $50 an ounce. What happens? Everything disappears. Indiscriminate, silverware is being melted. Slugs, medallions, proof coins, uncirculated coins, all being melted because these were 20 bucks a throw at that time. Then, after all that's done, NGC and PCGS decide. Let's do this independently. The industry is in need of a third party arbitrator for quality. Not what I say, not what you say, it's what they say. And over a period of time, they've been very much accepted, and now it's kind of the norm, is it not? Look at these numbers. Actually, Allison, what are those numbers? 1960, Denver, you said they made 18.2 million, but according to NGC's population report, you're looking at 4,343 in this grade 64 or higher. That's 0.02%. 1961, 20.2 million made. 5,903 in 64 grade or higher. That's 0.03%. Last but not least, in 1962, Denver, 35.4 million made. Okay, it's so a high mintage, but only 3,690 earned 64 grade or higher, and that is the lowest of all, 0.01%. We talked earlier in the show about that 03 Philadelphia Morgan, right? And how, because when you opened up the doors and you started the melts, the Pittman Act of 1918 melted 60% of all Morgans. We just have no idea. We know, we know what was melted, the one closest to the door, the last couple of coins made. Remember, one thing, and most forget, that we pulled gold in 1934, right? We pulled silver dollars in 1935. There hasn't been a silver dollar since for circulation. The Silver Eagle is a collector and bullion coin. The commemoratives are special issue collector coins. But for circulation, the Eisenhower was copper clad. So during this time, the largest silver coin was the half dollar. And the last one was the Franklin series, 1948 to 1963. So the mintage figures are part of the story. But when it comes to mintage figures versus rarity value, huge difference. Because certification, when's the last time we saw a 1960 roll, an original roll, that we haven't sent in for certification, and then when we got it back said, are you kidding me? Yeah. What were those guys drunk at lunch? <laughs> because how can there not be a 64 in the entire roll? That was a cherry roll. Right, especially, And, yeah. and we do have those conversations more than <laughs> once a day when we look at our results coming back from the services. You kidding me? But again, that's the market, that's what it is, and we accept it. 63s are a great buy, but at $39.95, that's why 64s are a crazy buy. Or how about this angle? If you're on the fence, 1960 Denver's, they're out there selling for $75.50 in a flip, uncirculated in a flip, $39.95 for a premium grade 64. 1961, $72.95. 1962, $68.50. No matter how the way you look at it, how, how you slice it, they're selling for premium numbers in uncirculated condition, and I'm talking they are just coins and flips or maybe a capsule if you're lucky, but here tonight with us at ABC, premium grade 64s for just $39.95. Let's make fun of us. It's always fun to, if you can't poke a joke about yourself, guess what, life is okay. not worth living, right? <laughs> and on this one, go to our website, look at the Franklins. We have them all in uncirculated condition in capsules. We're at $29.95. 
for all three of these. You can't send these coins in for $10 and get them back. That's the crazy deal we have tonight. The Your Choice Opportunity. We should have that banner on the left side. It's still available. Thanks for bringing that up, Hunter. I appreciate it. It is a Your Choice Opportunity. So if you only need the 60, because you already have the 61 and the 62, congratulations, and yes, a winner. If you were born in 1960, and you want to get a couple of them because your significant other was born the same year as well. Congratulations, you have an opportunity night. And you were born in Denver. What a better story. But you're not going to find a better coin, you're not going to find a rarer coin, and you're not going to find the better price. Three quarters of a century old, these coins are blast white beauties, the last large 90% silver, uh, silver to circulate. As you mentioned, the peace dollar ended in 1935. They pulled silver in 1964. And then in the 1980s, when the silver went through the roof, people were melting them like crazy for 20 bucks a piece, $50 an ounce back in the 80s. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity to own this premium grade, blast white beauties, obverse and reverse alike. They're gorgeous and they're priced to move. Again, $39.95 versus our competition at 75, 72, and 68. And those are in capsules. Ours are certified. As 64s, by the way, not just certified, they're 64. Right, exactly. There's the D mint mark below the E and the S. A lot of people look there and think that is the uh, I to put the rope to hang up the bell. The hook it's for not, the bell. that's the D mint mark. Yeah, but the bottom line is this these are all D mint marks. They made 14 Denvers. And look at pop. If you, if, if you want to have a fun five minute journey, go to NGC's site. Look up the Franklins, look up uncirculated Franklins, and look at the journey of Denver, the 14 coins. The earlier ones are special. They're much lower mintage figures, but when you get to the later issues, which have higher mintages, which are these coins, you're gonna see lower populations. And you're gonna scratch your head and say, uh-uh, this makes no sense whatsoever. And then you have to remember one thing, and that is just it, the Hunt Brothers. 1980, silver goes to $50 an ounce, that's all you need to think. It just screwed everything up for collectors. All those coins disappeared. Guys, we've got to put a one-minute clock up. These are moving, moving, moving. AVCcoins.com, everybody. Each one of these is available online. The 1960, the 61, the 62. All of them are Denver minted. All of them are 64s graded by NGC. And each one of them is $39.95 tonight. The first coin to feature a non-United States president. The Franklin half dollar. Fun fact. Fun fact, actually, because right, right the Lincoln. Lincoln was the first ever in 09. Then you go to the nickel, which was Jefferson. 38 Jefferson. Then you have the Roosevelt diamond, 46. Then you have the Washington quarter in 32. And then we have Franklin in 1948. Hmm, That's that was a good one. That was a good one. I wasn't thinking of that, but the answer is 100. percent Well, if you're looking for value, Franklins are the deal today. The I mean, Silver Eagles are Franklins. Look at this one, add them up. 4343, 5903, 3690, add them all up. There are fewer of these known in 64 or higher grade combined for 120 bucks than the S enhanced reverse proof from 2019. And it's not even a close race. This is the tortoise and the hare. And this group of coins tonight wins.